Hi everybody, Mature Simmer here. So welcome back. We're here for our third week, our next leg in the NASCAR 2022 tour. Uh, we've got a race coming up here and again we're doing 2022. So we're going to be here in Vegas on March 6th. So we're flying to get there from Ontario, where we just were here at the Auto Club race. So I am going to, I think, attempt to fly this on VATSIM as well. So this is going to make things a whole lot of interesting. So we do have a controller on here. We have approach on at Ontario Airport right now. So hopefully they'll remain. I'm not sure if that will be the case or not. Just making sure. So I filed the flight plan. In theory they see me. It should be good, but we'll have to see what that all looks like. Oh, I think I see. I need to come in here. So we're gonna get ourselves turned on here. I don't want the avionics on. Should be all set. Gonna reset our master caution, and we've got 2,900 pounds of fuel, which should be enough. So we'll just keep it simple and leave that with that. Things are coming up here. Gonna need to get the flight position in and so forth. All right, so the altitude's gonna be 23,000. So we're gonna dial that in here. Just try to get everything set. I'm going to get the flight director turned on. That will get that working. And we're going to want navigation, but we need to get things in first. So I want to clear that. So yes, my origin. Whoops. So we've got K Ontario. Is my origin and then we're going to have KVGT is where we are headed so we're going to North Vegas so this is why we are using a Cessna instead because the runway is only about four or five thousand feet there so that's just not going to be enough so we're going to execute that and then we've got legs let's see can I do the runway no all right, departure arrival. All right, so we're going to use that to Meeson, and then we are probably using runway 8 left as the takeoff. So we're going to execute that, and that you can see we're starting to get kind of a, a direction there. And then we're going to go here to arrival. We're going to be on runway... 12 right, doing an RNAV approach, and we're going to do NTNDO1 again through Mason. So that should connect everything up, and then hopefully we've got legs here. So we've got six pages, and hopefully we don't have any. Okay, we do have a discontinuity. So we basically want to take that and move it up. Whoop, shoot. I'm going to cancel the mod. I'm going to take this, move it up here, then execute. Let's see. So previous, because what I then want to do is delete the vectors, because then they should just connect up. All right, and that's for missed approach after runway 12. We're only about 175 nautical miles, so we should be good there. I have not used the Cessna for a while. All right, so we've got flight level 230 there, and we're all set with that takeoff. All right, so I need to get all of this from the information that we've got. So for ATIS, it's 30. 0.07 for the Q and H. 
So that puts us there. Wind is, I'm kind of looking at what they're giving me on VATSIM. So wind is 7070.14. Great. That's nice and windy. With gusts up to 21. So, yeah, that's uh, wonderful. So we're going to execute that. It's dry. Ontario Approach, Whiskey Alpha Tango, 4021, IFR to North Las Vegas with Victor. Whiskey Alpha Tango, 4021, so Cal Approach, are you, are you using the Walker call sign or negative? Yeah, the, the Walker call sign, yes. All right, Walker 4021, I sent you a PDC, did you get it? Uh, I'm newer to VATSIM as a pilot. I don't know where that would show up. Check your private messages. You should have received a pre-departure clearance. Uh, Walker 4021. Yeah, I do see the PDC message, so I do need me to read it back. No, negative. That's your clearance. Uh, all you got to do is call up once you're ready for taxi and uh, once you've got the correct correct code in your transponder. Understood. Walker 4021. Hopefully you guys are able to hear both sides of that. Obviously I'm new to this, so I'm fumbling around a bit. Luckily he wasn't too terribly upset, you know, well, he wasn't upset at all. Let's be honest. So I'm just happy it worked because the other time I've tried to do that and uh, nobody heard me or they ignored me. So, all right, so we need beacon lights. We need uh, logo lights, potentially. And then we want to do the right engine start. All right, so they're boarding passengers is what it's telling me. All right, so we're getting ready to push back. And I think I'm going to want to have my tail to the right. We'll see if it works. Um, they do some crazy things here. Sometimes they end up inside the cockpit. We didn't see her head here. Oh, maybe we will now had that happen before where suddenly she shows up uh, maybe not here might have been a different plane okay so I want the tail to the right All right, so now we're going to start the engine. So we're going to get the first one spun up. We're going to see that there. And it's going away. I did Well, maybe he's just pulling me. So this may actually be okay. Well, no, he's not. He's pushing me back. I don't know. We'll see how it ends up. And then... We'll start the left engine as well. So we've got left engine start, because basically we want to wait until it's 20% of N2. And then... Um, so there we go. We run there. That starts that up. And then do the same on the left. Close that. We've got the avionics on. We've got our altitude set. We want our alt button uh, tapped. Flight director buttons, again, both. It says both, but I do that, it turns okay. off. So we're going to set the parking brakes. And we're good with that. We want the yaw damper button on. There it is. So we got YD on the display. Again, altimeter is set. Heading button we want to tap. So um, let me see. He's having us take off on because we've gotten the clearance. So via SID expect maintain 1000. Then two, three thousand five minutes, 
departure frequency 127, contact 1270 for taxi. Alright, so I need to tell them we've got a good engine start. I assume they can't see any of this stuff on VATSIM. Um, I am facing in the direction I wanted to, so I'm okay. I'm not seeing the runway, but I'm assuming he's going to tell me. I'm assuming I'm leaving 8 left, but... I don't know. I want our emergency lights, our nav lights on. I think that's the emergent no emergency lights. Not armed. I forget where that is. Alright, we want the taxi, the strobe, the pirate the pedo. So we want the pedo heat on. That gets that out of the way. Uh, emergency lights. Whoops. On. So there we go. At this point we should have things blinking. Alright, so we're gonna see how this all goes. This is like nerve-wracking, because this is my first official VATSIM flight. Ontario Approach, Walker 4021, ready to taxi. Walker 4021, runway 8 left, taxi via November. Taxi via November to runway 8 left, Walker 4021. And Walker 4021, information whiskey's current altimeter 3003. And I'm like losing my mind. Where is the altimeter setting? The barometer is there, but. So it's 1008 or 1018. Actually, probably one nine to really get it right. All right. So, we're ready to get going here. There we go. Yes, 2564, heavy, turn right heading 240 and descend maintain 6000. 240, 6000, UPS, 2564. And uh, those are vectors for the visual approach runway 6. Okay, visual approach runway 6, 2564. All right, so headed down this way. We're going to eight left. So we've got to go all the way down here. Got to be careful because I am flying through here. That's probably a bad thing. So I really should stay under 20. I do have a tiny plane, but still. Basically, everything here is November in this airport, so it's simple enough. <laughs> you know, if I had parked like over in Yankee 1, Yankee 2 area, that would have been a bit more difficult. Let's see.
Ontario approach Walker 4021. Do I need any additional clearance or am I uh, free to take off? Uh, Walker 4021, apologies. Just uh, let me know if, when you're uh, ready at the end there. But uh, yeah, the, uh, the wind 070 at 1 2 gusts 1 7. Runway 8 left, clear for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. Walker 4021. Thanks. All right, I just saw a plane go by, so that could be not good. So they gave me clearance, but... UPS 2564 heavy, reduce speed to 210. Back to 210, UPS 2564 heavy. Alright. So, I'm going to line up here, and then we are going to go. So, not quite sure why the throttles are as slow as they are, but they are. So I need to maintain 10,000, and then... UPS 2564, heavy turn left heading 070. Left 070, UPS 2564 heavy. So Walker 4021, radar contact, say altitude. Walker 4021, passing 2000. Walker 4021, roger, for now maintain 4000. Uh, Walker 4021, disregard. Uh, Walker 4021-5, present heading, climb maintain 10000. Fly present heading, climb and maintain one zero thousand. Walker forty twenty one. UPS twenty five sixty four heavy on your rollout traffic at your twelve o'clock seven miles southbound. He'll be passing uh, left to right. Uh, a citation climbing through five thousand five hundred. Okay, looking for traffic. UPS twenty five sixty one. Walker 40, Walker 4021, turn right direct the Pomona VOR, resume the Sunshine 5 departure. Turn right to Pomona VMR, resume, uh, resume Sunshine departure, uh, Walker 4021. UPS 2564, heavy traffic, no factor. The field at your 12 o'clock, 20 miles. Okay, copy the traffic, and uh, we have the field in sight, UPS 2564 heavy. UPS 2564 heavy, clear visual approach runway 6. Clear visual approach runway 6, UPS 2564 heavy. Walker 4021, leave my airspace. Radar service is terminated. Change to advisory frequency approved. See ya. Thank you. Walker 4021, good day. Autopilot. UPS 2564, heavy wind calm, runway 6, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 6, UPS 2564, heavy. 
All right, so we should be pretty good. So sorry for being quiet there, but I was just a little distracted, as you might expect. Get the flaps up. Um, that will help. And then we'll head out here, and we should be okay. Alright, so we're leaving their airspace, as they talked about. And then we'll be heading over um, to the appropriate location here. So let me see what we've got. All right, so now it's changing. And now we're going to go a uh, little ways here, flying uh, a little bit still up. United 1925 with information. Whiskey request my park clearance to Denver. Yeah, they're 1925 SoCal approach. You're clear to the Denver National Airport, Sunshine 5 departure, Las Vegas transition, then as filed. Find via set except maintain 10,000. Expect flight level 3705 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 127.0, squawk 7307. Can I get that one more time for United 1925? United 1925, you're clear to the Denver International Airport, Sunshine 5, Departure, Las Vegas, Transition. That's filed, climb via SIDIC, that maintain 10,000. Alright, so we're heading. Departure frequency 127.0, squawk 7. Up to 23, flight 0230, and then we'll be. To Denver via right. Sunshine 5. I'm going to fix my heading uh, as well. To Las Vegas, and then I'm going to move that so that we're good here. Um, there we go. We're going to turn. So it should be a pretty significant turn. And then we'll have another one in about six miles, as we can see here. So we'll see. Let me get a better view here. All right, so we should have turned quite a bit. I'm not quite sure. Like it's it's interesting because I'm watching things on like the bat sim piece, and it's not showing me changing direction, but. It might be a little bit, um, a little bit delayed or something, but yeah, we're getting there. And then now we'll turn, and then that will be uh, not quite where we need to go, but all right, altitude has been reached, so that is good. So we should start leveling out at 230. So you can see we're coming down 2800. You know, it'll, nice thing is autopilot will do it pretty quickly. And then I can make changes once it, it locks in, because then it's no longer doing that. And then we're going to head that way in this heading for a bit. And then we're ultimately going to turn back to the left, and then that's where we head uh, for a while until we start circling in potentially another way. So, in theory, I'm in this person, you know, this controller's airspace, but they are Ontario approach. So really, once I get out of their airspace, they really probably don't care what I do. Um, we don't have center online, 
So I don't think I'm gonna get any more direction. Five sixty four heavy. Welcome to San Bernardino. Exit left taxi via Alpha Charlie Delta to the ramp. Alpha Charlie Delta to the ramp. Uh, UPS twenty five sixty four heavy. Right, and I'm thinking that San Bernardino. Whoops, I'm going too fast. Is what's what's going on there? So let me slow down because I'm basically exceeding my uh, my flaps. Let me also get that to standard. Whoops, what is happening? Hmm. Whoops. It's not what I wanted to do. My goodness. Things are not working out. There we go. Alright. So now it's on standard. Now we're slowed down. We're turning left, as I said. So now we're going to be getting on our heading. And once again, we'll be heading out of the airspace and should be hopefully in pretty good shape. So it's telling me about 23 minutes and you know, well, that's probably going to take a little bit longer because of how I need to loop around and so forth, but we're definitely going to make the uh, make it as quick as we can. So the big question is, is it going to, you know, how is this going to bring us in? So now let me look at the legs. Because, yeah, now we're going to Navy. Let me take a look. I probably don't need... All right, we go Navy, then Missin, and then let's see. Okay, it's taking me to Link... Tetris. All right, it is taking me to the appropriate areas, so it is kind of swinging me around to then bring me in to the runway. So we should be coming in on 13 right, I believe. See, like, there's Denver Center for some reason, but I don't know that Denver Center is who I'm dealing with. Because the other thing is, like, I don't know where the Vegas airport is. Like, I'm not sure if I'm heading in their direction, which would be bad. Um, let's see. I don't think so. Alright, and at this point, alright, so now if I go to the heading... 300, or if I fly, like maybe now I can go, I can change to nav and go, yeah, so if I change to nav, it should in theory bring me in. Las Vegas traffic side issue needs ready to go. Taking off runway 01 left, remaining in the power in Las Vegas. Alright, I'm putting my gear down. And then I'm going to go up some here to slow down. But at this point, I'm supposed to be about six nautical uh, miles. Aircraft from zero one left, out of interest. Can you tell me your aircraft type? Yes, I am a no, uh, 320 now. What did you see? Uh, I'm seeing something like a Learjet here. Yeah, that's, that's your, uh, Just leaving on basically, uh, uh, that's metal citation matching. longitude. If you're talking about the aircraft that's just departing right now off of, uh, zero one left, that's a citation longitude. Uh, I'm Airbus 320 now. Alright, 
So my problem is, I don't know that I'm seeing the airport. Oh, this is not good. Because I'm in theory three miles away. But if I can see this thing, I don't know. Vegas traffic United 35337-9 RS runway 26 left Vegas traffic. Alright, let's see where I'm at here. So in theory, I want to end up... Let's see, control... What if I go direct here and execute? And then that should align me, in theory, where I need to be. But I just don't know if I'm... Where's it taking me? All right, so hold on. So I'm thinking that's the airport there. So flying over the Vegas skyline here. Now, if I go down, will that do what I want? No? Okay. How am I only at 500? That had to be because of the building. Alright, so I'm gonna pull flaps back and I'm gonna put flaps out even more and I'm gonna get myself situated because at this point, and now I'm going to drop autopilot off, and we're going to try to get this landed here. Vegas traffic runway two six left vacated. All right, but yes, this is what I was expecting to see. We'll see kind of where we're at. But I got myself Las Vegas there. Travis, citation aids ready at golf. Downwind runway zero one left. Las Vegas. All right. So we're going to basically turn this, whoops, turn this off. Now we're bouncing a bit. All right. So, not the greatest, but we touched down at 60, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but that may be just because of what we did. I don't know. But we'll turn off here. And we'll get ourselves off the runway. And we'll head over and we'll kind of follow these. And we'll get over amongst these buildings, and then we may just call it a day right there, I think. That will be good. So we are in the right place. That's good. We got really close to the end of the runway, so you can see part of the challenge. But we made it, uh, for what it's worth. So... Las Vegas traffic see Saturday what this thing golf. turning final runway zero one left Las Vegas we'll see what this thing looks like I'm going to disconnect from bat sim so we don't have that in the background but in the meantime we are here if you've enjoyed this and uh, 
Let me get these turned on and turn these off. But if you've enjoyed these flights and haven't dropped a like, uh, please go ahead and do that. And I'll try to be a little, I don't know, better next time. I mean, as, as I get more familiar with stuff, it'll become easier. But uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider doing that as well. That'll help you see when new things appear on the channel. And I will see you next time.